Well, 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 I see you here once again for another Minecraft creative hour. Probably an hour, who knows? I mean, it's fast forwarded and I cut out all the annoying bits, so it could be anything. But today, after probably, I don't know, a couple weeks hiatus, I do apologize, we begin our work on cleaning up this last island and giving it some sort of theme. And the theme is essentially a little random. I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it gets formed as I go along, but that seems to be my process these days, especially when it comes to Minecraft. Essentially, I flatten this place out and try to think of a theme as I go along. It was gonna be barn animals and stuff, and then I got into some other ideas that we'll explore later. But a lot of this video really is gonna be flattening and preparing the land for the uh, the toil that is to be wrought upon it soon. Uh, because, you know, when it's too hilly and it's not flat enough, there's, uh, it's a lot, it's kind of difficult. Um, I did try to make different, uh, levels later on just to add interest, uh, but it's a whole thing. But hey, uh, let's talk about something else today. Let's talk about the brain and how weird it is. Let me tell you, it is hard sometimes to get myself to do this, to just sit down and just talk to, you know, the microphone, just share my feelings and, uh, my thought process, my thought processes on these uh, Minecraft builds, and it seems to just be this weird issue I have with procrastination, and gosh, it's it's a battle, man, it's not fun, uh, how many of y'all deal with this kind of stuff, or like, you like doing something, but the procrastination just kind of beats you back, you know, I, I would like to think about this in depth, and find more ways to defeat it, because I want to out more content, you know, and I guess some people would say it's because they want to make money on YouTube or something like that. Personally, I just, uh, I like making stuff and I, I, there's a real satisfaction in putting it out there and having it enjoyed. And also just the finished pro, pro uh, yeah. the finished product is very lovely. Like even when, uh, I guess you can say, even if I didn't put something out, I, I'd feel, I feel satisfaction being like this thing's done. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe I do like you know, the accolades and the, you know, getting something out of it. I mean, everyone does, though, to an extent. I feel like we all have that drive in us uh, to do that. Uh, we all want to, to some extent, like, you know, either be breadwinners or make something, create something, improve the world, all kinds of things. And uh, that's, you know, that's valid. Um, and maybe that's what it is. And that's not a bad feeling to have. It's all about uh, putting it in perspective. Uh, you don't want to you know, drive yourself to the bone trying to fit societal standards or even personal standards of what is enough or what isn't enough, right? Because you'll kind of treat yourself like utter crap if you do that. You'll you'll, you'll end up pretty dang sad even if you succeed. And I kind of am a victim of that, I feel, right? Like, I push myself harder and harder to uh, do more and more. Uh, happens with my to-do lists, happens with my YouTube projects, but I, I gotta go gentle on myself, I, I, I gotta be easy on, on me, because otherwise I'm just gonna get tired of this and look for a different outlet that doesn't make me tired, right? That's probably what would happen. Yeah, here we go, second island's flattened, I believe the first island is mostly flattened, I try not to over-flatten these islands. It may still have happened, right? Uh, we are not perfect builders, we do what we can and uh i dirt it up a bit but i try to keep some sand it's it's a whole thing i'm not really good at the like making things on the edge of the coast or whatever um it's lovely though i hope to make more my uh redstoney things in the future but for now we go on with the creative builds homies um sooner or later there's gonna be a lot more creative stuff on the channel but sooner or later i'm gonna freaking actually start posting the uh, hardcore mode dragon series inspired, not gonna lie, by, uh, oh, there we go, I love this bridge, uh, inspired by Captain Sparkles, no lie, uh, it's not anything like, uh, random blocks drop in or anything like that, but just, I've never personally in, like, vanilla in survival, well, hardcore mode is even harder than survival, but just, like, without the chance to die, gone out of my way to defeat the dragon or defeat the wither, there's raids now that are pretty fun. I've never really like conquered uh, a uh, underwater temple myself, right? There's a lot of cool things that the game has. The game has its goals that you can just kick butt and feel accomplished and 
And I desire to do that. I also desire, I, I feel like a lot of people say, oh, Minecraft doesn't force you to have goals. I think that's not necessarily a bad thing. I, I miss the days of being a young person and kind of pushing myself and giving myself goals that I felt satisfactory in games, you know? Um, building a certain type of city in a city builder or um, having a certain kind of empire in, in an empire builder or um, giving yourself the goal of having a bunch of headshots in a, in, in a, in a first-person shooter, right? Like, it wasn't always, hey, what's the game going to tell me to do? It was, what can I do? Uh, people who play uh, role-playing games such as Skyrim and give themselves a character build or uh, a, a story, right? Like, like, like Skyrim kind of forces you into specific roles, but people still find a way to just pretend otherwise or make the story of the game fit their tale. Um, sometimes they use mods, but not always. Like, that's the thing I love, too. A lot of people will just play Skyrim and just be like, I am this kind of guy now. This is my story. This is how I'm going about it. And I miss that. I haven't done that in so long. I really just stopped doing it. I remember I used to play um, Age of Empires 2 and uh, just scenario editor, make up my own kingdoms and my own plot lines of why I was involved in things. And sometimes I didn't even play in the, in the normal version of the game where you can lose. It was just about moving tokens around and uh, units and pretending and... Uh, I think uh, as we grow older, we consider these things childish and uh, and and silly. Um, but hey, I play role playing games. I I pretend all the time, and it's silly that we think uh, ourselves lesser for doing that as we grow older. Like, but also we role play. We play D and D. We play tabletops. Like, clearly, even as adults, we have, I think, some kind of hunger for that kind of stuff. I think I think we want to pretend. Uh, we want to uh, actively engage our brains. And while, yeah, reading um, can engage your brain, uh, writing, uh, maybe philosophy and things like that can, can definitely engage your brain, so too can just like unbridled imagination and creativity um, in your daily life, right? God, I've talked about a lot of deep stuff, and there's like five episodes coming up still. Um, and I'm going to run out of topics. This is uh, horrifying. But yeah, we're going to make a nice little pen for these animals so that they don't have to be trapped anymore. But yeah, I do think uh, we want to be imaginative even as we grow older. I mean, geez, I know 30, 40-year-olds, prob there's probably 50-year-olds out there who I don't know who play tabletop games and stuff, man. We, we want to let loose our creativity. And we all have some creativity. I mean, our brains aren't made to just fucking toil uh, in and out, you know, day job, over and over again, tired, constant, you know. Uh, to one extent or another, we also want to, like, think and create, uh, We, you know. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that we want to do, probably, you know. I, I don't believe that we were built for what we do. And even those of us who wouldn't consider ourselves creative probably still like to make. I don't know. It's, it's uh, personal opinion, right? It's something ingrained in us. We like to go out of our way to build up these ideas and... It's fun uh, to work our brains. They're muscles, right? You have to work them or you're going to lose them. Personal opinion, though. It's not nothing I can prove. Uh, here we're making a bit of a horse pen, right? Just going out of our way to just uh, give the horses a good home and give them a way to go there. Uh, I love it. Give them a wide berth because they are big boys. There we go. And they should want to go to the bigger area. I wonder if the AI makes them do that. I really do. Oh, wait, I just, I forced them. Okay, never mind, apparently. But you know what I mean, you know? Like, they usually try to get out of pens and stuff. Like, I, I feel in my heart of hearts, and it's probably not true because humans like to uh, anthropomorphize everything that we run into from Roombas to AI characters. Uh, but I feel like they've I feel like they been AI programmed to hate small spaces and to just avoid fences. Although they go up to the fences, I don't know. Probably literally random chance that makes them seem so humanized. Hmm, what am I thinking of here? Oh, yes, I want to rematch the bridge with where we land on the island. The bridge is really nice and also not my favorite thing. I feel like in a lot of ways it fails to um, match well with the terrain. And, like, the curve isn't perfect because the curve was meant to reach the island at a lower point. So I feel like it gets very, like, long and flat at the very end. But, um... I wouldn't fix it. It's um, it's a product of its time. It's a product of my process as, you know, a builder, 
as an architect here, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. There's so many names you could give it. Um, it's an artifact of that. It's an, ar an artifact of the process of creating uh, this bit of the world. Well, that was my phone. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not going to cut that because at this point I've said words wrong and everything. So I'm just going to mute my phone. Apologies. Ah, oh, there we go. I decided to look at the old places. I wonder why. Was it just to, like, think of what to build over here? Probably. It's hard to remember this uh, process. Like I said, uh, we are currently five, six videos before live. Uh, yeah, I've made a lot of content just back to back to back and then had trouble really getting into the creative spirit or the um, productive spirit to uh, go out of my way to make them. A lot of them are actually edited with uh, the fast forward and everything and some slow bits and a bunch of other stuff in mind. And then, I don't know, I just uh, haven't had the uh, the cojones to uh, sit down and uh, record audio for them for whatever reason. It just, uh, today it sparked for me. I think oftentimes I like a little bit of a deadline, which is what I have today. I do have to work later. And it's because, like, these videos, I, I, there's no way to speed it up the 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 narration process right i have to sit here i have to watch it uh with you i have to talk to you and there's no getting around that so i have to take 20 minutes out of my day and that makes me anxious in a way but i also like deadlines like i have to work later and i'm like yeah let's do this let's sit down and take an hour to make these videos and that's three three videos in an hour if they're all 20 minutes right i, I don't know i don't know what makes me so anxious about it when it seems like totally doable when I get down to it, it's, I always need that motivator. Uh, it's also why I like to do uh, to-do lists as well. They're very good for this. Here we get into the cringy part where I try to make some uh, nether portals and they do not work, but uh, I certainly try. I eventually do explore the nether as well because I've decided, you know, whatever we build has to be something that we've been able to find. But yeah, pretty much everything that you're seeing with the nether portals right now is going to change to some extent. Even the nether ones and even this one's probably going to move and... You're going to see there are some big changes coming forward and they start to come uh, fast and heavy as the episodes go on and as, as I get more inspiration for what I want to do. A lot of it's really random though. And yeah, I'm just looking at everything. I, I give a lot of looks at everything. And it, uh, I don't know, for some reason looking at uh, angles and things helps me kind of think of like, oh, where do I want to do this? Why do I want to do this? How do I want to do it? Um, these plans failed here. I wanted to do like a weird kaleidoscope uh messed up portal mutation thing but it didn't really work out if i would have done it again i would have tried to make like a tree out of portals that would have probably been really cool i don't know if the island would have been big enough for that at, that, at this point but uh I, I what i ended up doing kind of went the wrong way because it kept going wider and wider instead of kind of going around in a big old broken circle that looks like tree roots and then you could just keep getting more narrow as you go up until it just becomes like a uh freaking obsidian tree that would have been a really cool idea but it's not gonna happen also the amount of noise coming from this thing was uh, uh palpably uh um uh, ear splitting and annoying and uh just was not worth it in fact i think that's why i started breaking all these although i do try again because um i am nothing if not hard-headed <laughs> i do like having the daytime thingies although now that i have like cool lighting in the current setting it makes it a little bit different. Give and take. Oh, man. Apologies. Yeah, some kind of mural wall thing. This would be cool inside of a big old temple, but not in the middle of this island randomly. And I keep building. That's the sad part. Like, I really feel like he should. I should just stop. He should stop. I mean, that's me. But still, I really should stop. It's too many. It's too many portals. After that interruption, back to the video, and here we go. There is still way too much crappy work being done on these multi-portals. And they do not work. They really don't. But uh, I will try to make it work, won't I? Ooh, this is where it started getting kind of nice. I uh, slowed it down so y'all can see my little palette build here. Uh, I'm trying to do a lot more of that where I slow down for uh, crucial parts of the video, showing off specific things. Um, I like it. It's dope. Oh, I never put the uh, outro on this video. See? Just, just breaking down the walls, man. We don't need the walls. 
but yeah, I've noticed that like I need to add that when I'm done here. <laughs> oh well. See, I like the darker portals and then the lighter portals. You can make the portals look almost different colors if you give them the right fucking like uh, terracotta behind them. Yeah, see, I did this huge square thing. None of this works. I was gonna build like a giant statue atop the nether portals, almost like a, I don't even know. I don't even know. It was so silly. Uh, but it was supposed to be like a, a, this was the grandstand uh, square, and then uh, above the black fucking half big half slab is a statue but it didn't even have enough room for a statue because it has a fourth cut out of it by the portals it's so weird it, it just it wasn't a, bad, a good idea but this is a good lesson right you if you want to make oh my god that black terracotta is or is it clay is it concrete it's probably black concrete it's like nothingness and could be used for a cool design i'm sure but like it was hurting my eyes. It might even be hurting your eyes with like how impossible it is. It feels like nothingness. It doesn't feel like you're looking at a block. It feels like you're looking at a void. Good job, Mo Yang. But God, like makes my eyes hurt. But yeah, this this whole design is, is a failure. But it's an important lesson to artists out there. You need to fail before you can succeed. Um, I'm going to fail so hard that I'm going to need to break this all down. <laughs> but uh, see, that front bit looks kind of cool. This looks like almost like a cool building. It's just too simple. And there's no cohesive like point to it. Yeah, I tried to like texturize uh, the, the the black uh, concrete. I gotta say, you can barely tell it's there, and it's not my favorite thing. Maybe my uh, brightness is off. No, yeah, it's full brightness. Look at that. I even checked. I th I had the same thought in the future of the past. They match well though. If you want to make a really evil freaking uh, infernal space, there you go. I would terraform the nether if it wouldn't take so long. <laughs> Remember, guys, the series is with no freaking editing tools. I would like to have some editing tools, although I'm already playing in 115, so it's a whole ass thing that I opened this world in 115, although I backed it up. So we'll see. It's a whole thing. I might be able to uh, go back to 114, get some world edit and some other things. I might need help with that. If anybody's watching and you know how to get world edit to work and all that other stuff, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to messing with uh, Minecraft. And I'm kind of set in my old ways when it comes to like a lot of editing Minecraft and um, a lot of stuff like that. On that note, though, we must end the video. And like always, I hope you uh, follow the links on the screen if you wish to see more of this. Thank you for watching the video. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.